Also tonight, the vending machines are all wrapped up. The snack bar is closed and the bleachers are blocked. Some of the measures that two local ice hockey rinks have now taken in order to get permission to stay open in Erie County's orange zone, but with warnings about gatherings, many parents are confused and they're wondering if indoor sports facilities are safe for their kids right now. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley tries to clear up some of that confusion tonight. It's definitely a challenge for us and all of the, the teams. When you walk into the Leisure Rinks facility in West Seneca, you are surrounded by warnings about mask and social distancing. This hockey rink just reopened in July and is going to extreme lengths to make sure hockey families and workers remain safe. Vending machines are wrapped in plastic, snack bar closed, bleachers blocked, and thousands of items in the rink's store are taken off the shelves and sanitized after being touched. Uh, anytime someone tries something on, uh, they either purchase that item, if it doesn't work out, it goes behind the counter, sanitize the item. Since Leisure Rinks is in the orange zone, locker rooms are now closing and players can only put on skates in designated spots, which then have to be cleaned. And I have my sanitizer, we wipe down the benches, we wipe down the coat hooks. General Manager Chris Roswell said Erie County Health Inspectors gave permission for it to operate at 50% capacity, which means about 1,000 people inside. But Roswell is so worried about the virus that this rink and those at the holiday rinks in Chictawaga are working on a much lower level. We are far below that. We're around 5%. You know, I think it's important that we not just follow the letter of the law, but the spirit of the law. The State Health Department told us hockey rinks can open for individual training and no contact group practice. But no games or scrimmages are allowed as rinks must follow state COVID rules for sports and recreation. Just to keep them on the ice and hopefully ready to go for games possibly in January or down the road. Chris Roswell knows parents are nervous as sales of these face shields and splash guards are soaring. It is not required at this point. I would imagine at some point uh, USA Hockey or New York State Hockey would mandate. While parents struggle with whether it is safe, Roswell said he and his staff are doing all they can to stay open safely. It's been very difficult. Um, I think there's confusion all over. and We just go day by day and do the best we can. And the big question now is what happens if this area goes into a red zone designation? In West Seneca, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.